In a country which finds its heart in the green fields of villages, culture gives a special place to women. Women has always thrived to have a connection with Mother Earth. With a smile on the face who work tirelessly, women greet the sun and fields with a smile gracing on her face. Bio Input Production Unit, situated in Pudur, is a women's self-help group where undereducated women in rural community engage in producing bio inputs. These women have been given training at Tamil Nadu Agricultural University with the help of MS Maminadhan Research Foundation. Situated in the integral district of Tamil Nadu, Gandhigram Rural University was established in 1947. There are a number of processing units in Gandhigram University, such as Papada Manufacturing, Soap Manufacturing, Textile Manufacturing, and Shampoo Manufacturing. Gandhigam Rural University taught us how much social welfare can help improve employment generation in rural villages through traditional industries. It not only generates employment but also empower women, strengthen village economy and enhance the knowledge of differently able children. Mushroom farming unit showed us how much rural women struggle to find a living. Her emotional words simply tell us that we have a role to play in the society to make a change in their lives. Kodaikanal Hills in Mananur has been the home to these sheep herds for the last 45 years. This was the best experience we had up at the hills as we could not get enough of these herds of sheep on the beautiful mountain range. In Sri Lanka, we do not practice extensive sheep rearing. Therefore, this was a first-hand experience for all of us. With a land extent of 1,347 acres, unique breeds of sheep and rabbit are reared for wool and meat purposes. Mr. Anpu shared his experience on how he practices sophisticated grafting and budding methods truly amazed us. So we are at a carrot farm where this has come 
the harvesting stage from the tree wall to the harvest the hemp. Basically, you can this school where you keep from one side and well, yeah. Around 41 types of vegetables are sold to intermediaries through auctions. The Indigo Flower Market sells 25 types of native and hybrid varieties of flowers such as jasmine, lotus and roses. Value additions such as garlands, perfume and flower bouquets can also be found in this market. Silk Home Rearing Unit in Khandiwadi is under the supervision of Central Silk Board India. Farmers maintain properly pruned mulberry plants as silkworm larvae feeds on mulberry leaves. Cocoons which are produced after 45 days are used in making thread. This is a story of a young economist crusade to light up a remote village in Pudupatti. Even though he doesn't have a thorough knowledge on agriculture, his farming methods shows otherwise. He uses household waste, human waste and naturally available material as manure and pest control. By taking up risks 
and cultivating vegetables during the most harsh times shows courage. He truly is an inspiration not only to the rural community but to the whole wild world.